Travis Meinhoff, and I have a project featured in this issue of Craft Magazine that I'm going to do a similar project to today, making a loom out of some 3x5 note cards. If you get the issue of the magazine, there's a larger version that you can pull out of the magazine and cut out. But for this one, um, it's just using stuff that you might have around the house, some note cards, and maybe a pencil or a chopstick, and just any kind of knitting yarn that you might have. You need some scissors and a pen. So the first thing to do is to draw this on your note card. I have it available on my website actionweaver.com and you can um, follow the link from craftscene.com to get that too. And it's in such a way that you can basically place the note card against the monitor and trace it off of there. Once you have the shape traced off of the monitor, you just fold the card in half so that these diamonds become triangles. And then you cut them out. You're going to put thread through these holes. So try to keep it smooth. What I do is first I go down the whole length, cutting one side. And then I turn it over and see how they just pop out. So these are the holes that half of your threads are going to go through. You'll be winding a little warp. That's the threads that go up and down the length of the cloth. And it's just going to be a warp of 12 threads. So here's for half of them. And then these slots you cut out next, the other six threads will go through those. And then once you have all of those, just fold them back. And you can just go across and cut all of those off. And then when you open it up, this is what results. It's a like the most basic throwaway version, basically, of this what's called a rigid heddle loom, which is, I guess, a primitive Scandinavian type of weaving implement. Or I've heard that woven pieces that are assumed to be made using this device are been found dating back to the Swiss Neolithic age. <laughs> I have a master's degree. <laughs> um, the other card will be used to make the shuttle. That's what you'll wind the weft thread, which is the one that goes back and forth and forms the body of the cloth. And to do that, you'll just cut big notches out of either end of a folded in half card. So, this is the loom right here. Next, you'll take the yarn that you have and just wind it around your forearm like you're winding up an extension cord and go around 12 times. So, that's one, 11, 12. So I have all of these strings, I'm going to cut them loose right up at the top where my hand was holding them. And so the piece of cloth will be a little bit less than this long. It's just to get a taste of what it's like to make fabric. Then you can take each thread and put it through this the loom part, one through the slot, and one through the hole, and go across the whole card like that. So now with your 12 strings all through the loom, you take them in little bundles and tie them around your pencil. And it's not really, you know, you can just kind of tie it. There's all sorts of special knots in the weaving field that people use, but you know, the important part is to just get it attached to that pencil. 
And I'm doing it in four bundles of three. Okay. And this is nice using a short length because you can actually do this whole part right here in front of you. Where basically um, you'll take the pencil and hold it firmly in one hand and stretch out the threads, comb them out a little bit with your fingers. And when you have them in this hand, so that the tension is even across all of them, tie this end of the bundle just in a regular overhand knot. And now take another little bit of string and maybe just, uh, oh, just like so, make a little slip knot and put that around the end, like so. And this will be what you secure to, like, um, well, I've got these posts sticking out of, or these hooks sticking out of the wall, but you can do it off of a doorknob or a chair with a friend sitting in it. Or even if your friend will just hold it for you for a minute just so you can check out what it's like, just to get it tight between you and something. So, I'm gonna... so now I've had this uh, extra piece of string looped around and I tied a knot in it so that I can secure it to the wall right here. And you can either take string on a, and tie it around either end of the pencil and go around your back to make it into like a back strap loom like you may have seen in Central or South America. It's used in many, many different nations and countries. And, but I would just hook it on my belt loops. That's why I find the pencil is like really a perfect length to use. And then while I'm holding it tight like this, see how the threads through the slots and the holes, if I pull up, the ones in the holes are separated by just a wee amount, and there's this space in between every other thread. And if I pull down, these ones raise to the top of the slots, and there's the space. That space is called the shed in weaving. And what it does is it mechanically does what we, you may have done, like in grade school or something, where you have to by hand go over and under each thread, this one just picks up every other thread. So I'm going to get a, another color of string to use Ooh, as my weft. And this one came out of someone's attic. And I'm going to put it in the little figure eight pattern like so on the shuttle, which I made out of the other note card. And now with it wound on the shuttle, I'll just pick up half of the threads and stick this one through that space. And this is the part where holding it tight is kind of important. And now I'll pull down and see how these threads are lowered and it's doing the opposite of what the first one passed through, so I'll just pass that. And I can use the shuttle to pull back and kind of beat it in so that it starts becoming cloth. Now I pull up. And so this is the weaving process on this little loom. It's just pulling up and pushing down and alternating. And as it starts, the space between the knots is kind of goofy and there's some space, but you can even it out just with your fingers. And you can always tell which one was last. I just pull up and I can see that this is the space that I just went through, so now it's time for me to pull down. And just use the shuttle each time to knock your weft back into place, or you can do it with your fingers. And then pull up and go back. And you know, this is a really cute little piece of cloth. You could wear it as a silly little headband, or make a whole bunch of them and piece them together. But the final use isn't totally what I'm interested in. I just like the idea that people will get a little taste of what it's like to make fabric. And woven fabric, which 
I think is different than like knitting or crochet, which are also really beautiful textiles and really satisfying to produce. But I think we all have so much experience with woven cloth because we wear, you know, pants and business shirts and all of these different things are made out of woven fabric. But I'd wonder who has experienced creating it in this form. You know, it's pretty unusual. In fact, if you only have one note card, you could totally use your hand for this entire part of the process by just picking up and pulling down. And you can just use like the back of your hand, like so, to knock it into place. And once you run out, you can just leave the excess hanging off of the side and start the next one going through. And you can change colors so that you have nice color stripes going through your piece of cloth. And if you use uh, wool for this, you can wash it afterwards. It'll get really tiny, but it'll be a really solid piece of wool fabric. So this is an example of a more completed piece of cloth made using this technique. And I've also put up, this is the piece that I was making for the photo shoot for the larger version that's in Craft Magazine. That one's using 28 strings, and this one is just a dozen. Thanks for watching. Cheers.